Hey there, welcome. I wanted to come on just quickly at the start here and just put a bit of context around this video about what I'm talking about. Now, as you would know from the previous videos with the MRS native tools, I tout them as being free, free tools. They always have been. They have been since November 2022 when we had that service lit up by Microsoft and we've been using them. You'll note on the demos that I've done on, and previous videos, it runs through fine and just migrates data from one tenant to another. And recently I did another migration. I've had people reach out and, and talk about this and it's asking for a cross-tenant migration license to be applied. And that was then inflicted onto my tenant as well. So I wanted to document that little journey that I had with Microsoft about what that really means, how we get these licenses and, and really what it's all about. So this is, as I say, documenting that journey. So I'll jump straight into the screens and show you the errors and show you what transpired with it. Coming back to our issue with our cross-tenant migration license, you can see here I've got the demo tenant set up. There's no EA agreement involved here, but we look at batch one here, you can see synced with errors. Everything is good in terms of the setup, but if we look at the details there, we can see yes, they've all failed. We know that. And why have they failed? And it says here, a cross-tenant user data migration license is required. So that means that it is now rolled out against standard tenants and not just EA tenants. So in order to get this license, I thought I'll contact Microsoft and say, okay, how do I buy a license? and log in the support ticket. Immediately, the first level person, ambassador comes back with, I will look into this and get back to you with more details as soon as possible. Excellent, well, they did come back and check out what they said. They said they have researched it on their site and I advise you to contact the Microsoft partner, the Microsoft partner, as it is out of scope for us and this link will help you find a partner. And that just guides me to the find a partner screen. And for a suggestion, I'm providing this link on how to perform a cross-tenant migration. Now that is as useful as, I don't know, something that's not very useful, to be honest. So I've written back saying, guess what? I am a Microsoft partner already, so I don't need one. And I kind of know how to do a migration already. I just want to know how to purchase the SKU, which I know is the VZ for 00001 SKU. So we'll wait on that and see what they come back with with that response. So then this afternoon, I get another email. Check this out, which refers me back to the item in the help article, which talks about it available as an add-on 365 subscription plans for enterprise agreement customers. So that is exactly what it is. You can only use the tool if you have an EA agreement and purchase the license on your EA. If you don't have an EA agreement, you've got a normal tenant, business basic, uh, E5 developer, anything that doesn't have an enterprise agreement on it, looks like you can't use the tool. Uh, I did have an email from another Microsoft rep that I know, and he confirmed that that is the case. That is quite true. And what you need to do is use a third party tool, something like, uh, you know, the, the tools we should see on the rest of my channel. So that's it, really. So it would appear that exactly that unless you've got an ea agreement on your tenant you cannot use the what we called the free native tools under mrs uh, the license cost just by the way i did find out 11 dollars 34 us to do the migration per user and that license is valid for 180 days and is good for just the one mailbox uh, as far as I can tell from the licensing structure though you can also use that same license for that person's OneDrive content as well. So you can use it for the cross-tenant OneDrive, but it all has to be lit up in the back end. You have to log the calls to say, turn on the ability to do the OneDrive license, uh, and so the cross-tenant license for the, the OneDrive and the mailbox, and they will turn all that on for you, and then you get to consume those licenses accordingly. Bit of a sad thing then, if you do want to use these, what we used to call them as once were free tools. They're not free tools anymore, unfortunately. So your best bet really is to not use them at all. There's much better functionality with third-party tools. We always talked about third-party tools being better than the MRS because the MRS was a ton of work to do and lots of configuration, lots of PowerShell, lots of matching. You had to destroy the source when the target goes live. All the things that you would put up with because it was a free tool and now you've got to pay for. So why wouldn't you use a third-party tool? 
Anyway, that's it for me. This is Mark here, the Cloud Geezer. Thanks for subscribing to the channel. Appreciate it. Anybody want to drop any comments uh, in there about this, any experiences they've had, please, please do so. And of course, anybody wants to email me directly, mark at thecloudgeezer.com. Thanks and have an awesome day.